I'm off to do apparently the world famous one of the routes they did in the Tour de la France. I hope I'm on the right road and I'm not just driving down some farmer's track. I think I've gone wrong. Sugar. Let's try and turn the bike around here. This is right. So I'm a little bit lost, but I will uh, think of something coming. I mean, it's amazingly beautiful. Okay, let's get away from this track. Let's uh, hopefully find a way back to that road and uh, hopefully get back on track. It might end up having to be a call, figure out where I actually am, but at least it's pretty. It's kind of like green lane in, in the UK. Ugh. I'm still clearly lost, but I've come across something quite pretty. It's a little village, middle of nowhere. Have no idea where I am still, <laughs> but I just wanted to show you because Honestly, it's gorgeous. Imagine having this at home. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't think I'd want to take a bath in there or have a drink. And I'm not going to lie either, I have no idea what this bit's for. I'm guessing at some point it was to do with washing clothes or something like that. But it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, quite special. Almost fell over there, never mind. And obviously the amazing looking church behind me, but what a place, eh? Anyway, now I just need to figure out where I'm going next. I've figured it out, I think. <laughs> so... I've had a good look on Google Maps and I've got really bad internet of course because I'm up in the middle of nowhere but I'm back on track so I've found the road where it gets closed what we were looking at on the map when I sat down with my dad and I reckon that there's a hotel kind of place near there so I've put that into the sat nav but I've got no internet so um, obviously using Google Maps yeah <laughs> that doesn't work so I, uh, it's trying to find the best route last time I looked. So I'll stop again, maybe in a minute and try it again. But from looking at it, I believe I come down here and go right and go right again, pretty much, and just stay on that road. Something like that. But, um, and then I'll keep going up into the mountains, I think. But if I'm going up, surely I'm going in the right direction. Mm, or not. Look at it, look at it. It's beautiful. And I believe we're gonna start heading up in a second. And this is just the beginning, but the tarmac's great. The bike is great. And at the end of the day, all we've got to do is enjoy it now. We are on it. We're on our way up and it is gorgeous. There's these beautiful, beautiful, like villagey style places on the way up. You can see, you know, you can see why people like riding their push bikes around here to be fair it is stunning the tarmac is great obviously and this bike is just becoming into its own element the sound and it's just oh so good this is so good just gone for a place called ferry i think it's probably not spelt like that or said like that but ferry and we are continuing up slowly but surely this is no at the moment no big hill climb i'm guessing we're going to get the big up sort of part of this but yeah this is where 
the people with lycra fetishes come and visit i wonder if these barns are full of different sorts of lycra that they can uh, rub against i don't know whatever whatever they you know fancy anyway let's just keep this going oh this bike is perfect for this absolutely perfect what a bargain this bike is i have been very very lucky to let the you know the guy that owns this to let me hire this off him for 200 euros is just it's like old school riding but it brings everything about riding back because it's that old-fashioned thing like this is the kind of bike i used to have a lot of the cbr uh, 600 the f's the fs the rr's and obviously it's not that because it's a cbf so it's you know it's more sort of sport tory style but at the same time it's just lovely and it brings back a little bit of memories for me because of the positions quite similar like i said that sort of street fighter kind of like stance to it it's just oh perfect anyway after me gushing over the bike uh let's keep going this is getting nicer and nicer and nicer i just don't want to get to this bit where it says the road is closed wow look at that that's pretty so this is what i put in on the sat nav let me stop here because it's saying i'm here here he says like destination mark. so this is a hotel that you can stay at i'm obviously must be rammed it looks closed at the minute and it's that beautiful river so that up here it's a big sort of chunk more before the road closes but that is what i put in the map to get here I would tell you the name of it as well, but who cares? Let's just go. Let's keep going. Let's get as high up as we possibly can. But a beautiful road, a beautiful ride. It's got it all. The big plus side to this is, there shouldn't be hardly any cars. I know obviously it would be fantastic to go over and go literally the route across. And it's gonna be a real pain for me to have to backtrack all this way to then go to, um, Lachon to then go the other half of it if I decide to do that part yet well we'll 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 see what sort of time it is and what we've got for light I found it I believe I found it route de Saskal Saskal route de Saskal something like that but I definitely reckon I'm on the right track because it says the road is closed obviously that's further up so I'm gonna go as far as I possibly can but there's a picture of somebody wearing spandex on a bike so I'm pretty sure that that picture behind me right there is the right way to go and it's saying 1755 meters an altitude of 576 and to the summit it's 19 kilometers this is it this is it and that's the biggest thing of all we found it i'm going to go as far as we can and catch this in the most epic cinematic way that i can as well so let's jump on the bike and let's make this truly epic what I like of it is, is that we're going through this sort of like foresty part as well, and it's it's just pretty. I'm hoping that the GoPro 10 will pick up how gorgeous this is. Oh, just absolutely stunning. Oh, this is a little bit more gravelly. Quite a bit more gravelly. Oh, okay, look, where we've had some rocks come down and... It's clearly not, not manned. More rocks come down there. Got to take it dead easy because of all the... All the stones and stuff and rocks that have come off like this is... Obviously, I can't go quick because if I uh, hit any of it... It's going to cause an accident. But wow, just, it's like being on a lost road. Or like discovering a new road. That's what I should say, shouldn't I? It's like discovering a road that's taken away for years. Spectacular. Wowsy, wowsy, wowsy.
So this is it. We are here. We are on one of the roads that they've used in the Tour de la France. And I can see why that the people with a fetish for spandex love it up here so much because it is absolutely gorgeous. And joking aside that there is a lot of respect. They've got to be super fit. And this is, you know, they do a lot of miles. And I know I take the mick, but at the end of the day, I can see why they've picked this because it is absolutely fantastic. So for all of those spandex lovers, leotard wearers, cyclists, I'm going to send the drone up and show you how fantastic it is because I think just up there the road closes and I'm a little bit concerned if I go too far there won't be a good place to turn around. So ladies and gentlemen, for all of the leotard lovers out there, I give you the road that was used for the Tour de la France. Wow, eh? Just what a stunning, absolutely stunning place. And like I said, there's no one here. It is so peaceful. Now, I'm pretty sure the road is closed a little bit further up. And I shouldn't be doing this really, I suppose, but I, I'm pretty sure that they'll have a something in the road to stop me from going any further. It looks a bit dodgy. I want to risk it to get that little bit more because there's still a few more kilometres to go before I sort of, sort of head back down. It looks like it gets really kind of twisty and narrow. I don't know this is narrow enough and it's dodgy enough and like I said there's rocks all over the road I'll give you an example of what you're coming across and there's big piles of these in different bits I mean that's not exactly small is it you won't want that falling on your head that is for sure now I'm really torn between turning around here because it's a good spot or seeing how much further I can actually go it's a bit dangerous really, bits of these rocks are falling down, yeah, it's uh, I want to go and see, my adventuring side wants to go and see how far I can get and hopefully not get in trouble, I really want to do it. <sighs> okay, let's see if we can go up a little bit higher. Let's go. Nice and easy, nice and steady, looks dodge, turn around. Okay, so I'm like about six kilometers now away from the summit, but I think I've got to be respectful. I've got to this bit, this beautiful waterfall, it's absolutely gorgeous, but I think I've got to be respectful to the point of part of this is closed, and if I go to that point, I'll be breaking the law. And as much as I would love to go and do it, I think right now, with all the rocks on the side of the road, etc, etc, I should turn around because the last thing in the world I want to do is get myself in any trouble and get stuck up there trying to explain in French that I am just a British plonker trying to find my way up to the top and taking the piss. This is just absolutely gorgeous and it's mind blowing. It's just, it's gorgeous and perfect. Obviously avoiding boulders and rocks in the middle of the road isn't the best thing in the world at all. But I think at this point is the right time for me to turn around. I need to be respectful. I don't want to completely take the piss and go up this road. It is quite clearly closed. I know it says on Google Maps it's closed further up and I'm only about six kilometers away from the summit, but this is the right time, you know, just to be respectful. But everything's urging me to keep going until I either get stopped or I can't go any further but it's not my country and I need to be respectful so this is the moment I'm going to turn around and start heading back down but 
Wow, just absolutely wow. Look at this road, imagine coming up here, beautiful sunshine, virtually getting your knee down on the floor as you go around that bend. Oh, perfect. What a crazy day it has absolutely been. I ended up getting lost and being stuck on that track and then I've come back round and I've gone to find this road and then I've gone a little bit up and then I've gone, I don't know if I should be here or not be here. And then I've turned around and I've come back. And to be honest, I've kind of gone past villages that have been absolutely stunning. I've also gone past buildings that look like they're about to fall down with people living in them because they're all nuts here. But they're nuts because they live in such a crazy, awesome, gorgeous place. I mean, look, look at it all around. It's just mountains and mountains and mountains, and it's absolutely gorgeous. But now it's about 3 p.m. ish, and it's gonna take me about 40, 45 minutes to get back. Plus I'm gonna put some fuel in for tomorrow because that's gonna be absolutely epic if I can find any again. So I'm gonna head back, grab myself a beer, but do you know what? for an adventure where I haven't got a clue what I'm doing and that for me is still my favourite type of adventure Pyrenees and France it's, it's, it's getting to me I, I'm really really like falling for the place because it's just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous but I can't wait for tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be an absolutely awesome episode and probably do the biggest miles I've done on this trip so far yeah can't wait to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye for now.